parks can be fun, right? You know, fun rides, good food, immersive theming, loud noises, children screaming, rides that are too intense, sensory overload. Okay, so they may not be my favorite thing, but I can still find some fun in them from time to time. Hell, I like learning and thinking about all the work that goes into making these parks, and one game above all else exemplifies this very well, and it is Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. First released 21 years ago in 2002, Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, or RCT2, is an isometric theme park management sim created by Chris Sawyer with art by Simon Foster and soundtrack composed by Alistair Bremble. Sequel to the 1999 Roller Coaster Tycoon, a isometric theme park management sim made by Chris Sawyer with art by Simon Foster and soundtrack composed by Alistair Bremble. Being this old and with newer competition both from future sequels and spiritual successors, why come back? Why does it still have such an active community online? That's why I want to answer here today as we play Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. First, before even starting out, quick side note, while the game does run pretty well on modern computers, recording it doesn't, especially if you want it to look good. So for the video, all the footage was captured with the fan mod OpenRCT2. It's still the classic game at its heart, but now it just runs and looks a little bit better. And more importantly, OBS is willing to work with it. On the home screen, there's a good few things. In the background, an example park is running, while at the bottom there are a couple different options. Down here, new parks can be started, old ones restarted, multiplayer hell if you have open, and a few more that are rarely used. The best place to start is the start, so we may as well grab any one of the scenarios here. They're listed out both by difficulty and if they came from the base game or its DLCs. Every park has different goals to achieve. Some want a specific amount of guests at a time, some want 10 very different exciting coasters. They differ between every park. Once you've chosen a park, the game actually starts. Some parks already have a few things built, some have nothing but paths, and some, even though they're mostly DLC, are already pretty much pre-built. Looking around, there's a lot of stuff, most of it being menus. See, here's really the only problem with Roller Coaster Tycoon 2, and to a lesser extent, all theme park managers. There's a lot of shit you have to access, which also means it can feel really overwhelming at the start. RCT really doesn't have much of a built-in tutorial, meaning that you have to learn on the fly what everything does. Thing is, for how overwhelming the game can feel with you being thrown into the deep end right at the start, it really isn't as hard as it seems. As a theme park manager, everything boils down to either working on building the park up or managing what's there. Building it to me is where a lot of the fun is. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 has great tools to let you build rides and attractions of many different kinds. Some can be dropped right into the world with you only need to connect them to the main road. Others, like the titular roller coasters, have some pre-built examples that you can place down, but the real fun is making your own. The ride builder is still one of the best parts of the game. It's easy to understand and gives you the power to make some pretty amazing rides. It has a mix of basic parts with some more specialized options based on the type of coaster there is, because it wouldn't make sense having everything available to all. Building is made way easier and debatably better than many of the newer games, because Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is grid-based. The world is broken up into little squares, and this makes path creation and ride building way easier as it lets everything snap together almost like little Legos. Alongside rides, shops, stalls, and decorations work in a very similar way with everything being able to snap right into position. Building gives way to management. In almost every scenario, money is needed to keep the lights on and making it is important. Can't make money though if the guests are angry, so let's peek into their deepest desires so we can tailor the ride experience to them. Not enough intense rides? Build something bigger. Dirty park? Hire staff! Is something of really good value? Time to ratchet up the entry fee. On top of this, managing staff mostly janitors for puke and handymen for rides, alongside research become backdrops to catering to the guest experience. This loop of building new things to cater to experiences are what makes the game so fun to me. It's not even that it's the deepest management experience out there, it's not that it's the most in-depth beautiful ride maker there is, it's not even the really good soundtrack, it's just the simple fun of it all. Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 excels at something basic many newer games have seemingly forgot these days. Having fun. There isn't some big story with cutscenes, I don't need to stress over remembering this and that, I can sit back with a warm drink and play for hours, building up these little theme parks, spending time building the most complex rides, watching the little people queue forever for my work. Hell, as a kid I got in trouble a few times for how late I'd stay up playing the game. Games that focus on nothing but being simple fun are kind of oddly rare these days, with some devs even going out and saying that fun isn't the point of their work. And while whether we should view the medium like this is up for debate, a big part of why I like Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 is because it focuses on nothing but the fun. Hell, it does a better job of it than games like Planet Coaster, a spiritual successor to Roller Coaster Tycoon 3. In my opinion, because it's more limited. Ride design is harder in the newer games due to the larger, more expansive toolset and more open 3D worlds, without really letting me make anything that much better. Scenery, 
something I barely remember is in Roller Coaster 2, is way better in the newer games, but it also does become overwhelming because it takes way more time and effort to make an even decent looking park, especially one that isn't just a kit bash of every pre-made thing. Now, many of the sequels and successors are still great games on their own, no doubt, but in my opinion, they miss that simple level of fun RCT2 hits due to them wanting to do more. See, Roller Coaster Tycoon to me is like comfort food. I can enjoy it endlessly over many years, even if I stick to the same few maps, because it's good at its core. Building new rides, making more daring parks, f even throwing guests into the river or making rides crash for dumb laughs. There's something magical about how relaxing the game can be that really hasn't been properly replicated elsewhere. It's complicated enough that there is a good amount of substance to keep you there, but generally it isn't stressful or overcomplicated to a point that harms enjoyment. It's easy to pick up and play, but incredibly hard to master. I've been playing since 2013, and many people can still make parks way crazier than mine, but Unlike in other theme park games, that doesn't really bring me down because it was fun to make mine anyway, no matter how simple it might be in comparison. All other aspects besides gameplay help this feeling too. The sounds and music are good enough to both be enjoyable while listening to other things, or even while solely devoted to the game and its world. The graphics too, while simplistic and more basic than things developed in the two or so decades since, still hold up really well, and it adds to its charm. Hell, the game did such a great job of holding people's attention that there is still, 21 years later, a pretty major fan base to this day doing things like, yeah, rebuilding parts of the game to run better with newer features. Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 have such a powerful memory and enjoyment that Atari, the current rights holder after years of unsuccessful crappy sequels, made Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic, a game that is pretty much Roller Coaster Tycoon 1 and 2 together again on more modern platforms like mobile and Mac. This on top of the original games being easily available on Steam and GOG keeps alive the amazing Roller Coaster Tycoon experience many years after it first came out. At the end of the day, I think my own Steam review of Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 from around 2015 says everything you might need to know about the game. Better than its sequels, cheaper than its successors, thousands of hours of gameplay, running on damn near anything, it can be worth thousands of hours. Thank you for tuning in and watching to this point. This video in particular is special to me as it was the first project I started working on when I decided I wanted to start making videos again. It went through, I think, four or five script revisions to get where it is today from January of 2022 to now April of 2023. So I hope you guys enjoyed and have a good day.